Welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. So, by popular demand, and I mean, by popular demand, I mean the the repeated request of one person, we are going to save Marshmallow from the Deep Nest. We have a map of the Deep Nest now, so we can actually hopefully save him. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> well, you know, you know, Nintendo Attic... I think it's important for people to do the right thing, even, and especially if we don't receive thanks for it. Oh, that, wait, I thought I, I thought I took off the Sprint Master pin. Oh, no, it didn't reset any of my pins. Great, okay. Wayward Compass, yes, definitely. Soul Catcher, yes, definitely. Oh, uh, what else do we want? Yes, we want, we want Spider Friends. And... I like the steady body one. That one's actually quite nice. Maybe one other. Uh, the heroic odor, I don't think so. Honestly, maybe Sprint Master. Dash Master is two? That seems kind of like a lot. Hmm... I'll, actually, I will keep Sprint Master. As it turns out, if if you want me if you want me to do stuff in games, all you have to do is draw fan art of me doing it. That 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 actually seriously does go a long way. All right, going back to uh, distant village. That's the one in the deep nest. I did defeat my crazy ant last uh, last stream. Yes. Okay, so we. Oh my gosh, this place is enormous. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 okay. So those are the, the green fiends on the map, those are the grubs. I first I saw the grub in the upper right, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's totally where the guy's captured. But no, okay, so there's actually two grubs that I have not saved. Good to know. Um, I haven't decided yet. Uh, Simpsons are us. Still gotta figure that out. I will probably do a regular one of Defeat Ganon. Triforce Hunt is fun, but I prefer the vanilla way of doing it. Whoa! So unfortunately, we gotta go back to the creepy place again. <laughs> but it's okay, we got the spider... Arr. I'm still used to the fast spell casting, so... Messed up the timing on that big time. Wee. <laughs> Grubbies. Yeah, now we can see where the grubs are on on the map. That's the reward we got for beating uh, the collector last stream. So again, I can't exactly remember where. Marshmallow is being held captive. I don't think he shows up on the map. Ow! My donk. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Well, this place is a lot more dangerous than I remember. Fun. Let's see. It looks like I've explored most of the areas most of the areas in here, so where is there left to go? Because I, pr I presumably need to find a new secret passageway! Okay, I'm sorry. That's, your that's yours. I will leave. Come on, spider friends. This this is your turf. You should be able to help us out a little bit more. Oh, uh, all right. It, feel, it feels weird having a map of this. What? Why would they do that? I just don't understand. Ow. 
Ouch. This is the weirdest thing, because I have the lantern, too, and it's still dark as all get out. Ooh, that's awesome. Glad to hear it, DX. Very, very nice. Which are better, spiders or tarantulas? I mean, depends on the type of spider. I would say, on average, spiders are more preferable, because tarantulas can do a bit more harm to humans. But again, it depends on the spider, because there are some extremely venomous spider types out there. Ow. Excuse me? What the heck was that? You you flew over a gap to hit me. While I was in the middle of healing, no less. That's very rude. So there's a grub very close by. Is there a grub right through here? Oh, he's up there. Ow! My butt. Super Grover? Super Grover! That was the key. As is so often the key. Alright. Uh, still have no idea where the guy's being held captive, so... <laughs> oh, that's right, he's here. When you say baseball, see, are you talking about, like, real baseball, IRL, or are you talking about my backyard baseball? Because obviously it hasn't started for this season, because I'm not streaming it right now. Also, I can't start streaming it as long as Hollow Knight's going on. So looking at the map here, this it doesn't tell me anything. Which is annoying because... It looks like there's a way to go in from the left, but I went over to the left side in a previous attempt, and there was nothing. Real life baseball that I you're asking the wrong guy cuz I literally could not care less about sports. Yeah, his voice is definitely annoying cuz it's the same sound effect repeated over and over again. So there's a bench. Oh yeah, I should go to the bench. This is a dangerous place. It's a tacky shop. Ah, there we go. I feel much better after a nice little sit. Alright, now we gotta find a way to save this man. So is this where I came from, or is this a slightly different area? Okay, we're on the far left side now. So presumably there should be a secret passage somewhere in here. Nice job, spider friends. Okay, there's a lot of enemies in here, so maybe if we defeat all enemies, something magical will happen. Like, that down there looks like it definitely can open up. Oh, sure enough, that's exactly what, that's exactly what happened. Here we go! I'm here to save ya! How you do, sir? 
Hi, what are you doing, you clumsy little oaf, swinging your rusty little nail around in the darkness? You almost struck me, and if you had, it would have been the end of you, trust me. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. My weapon, Life Ender, has struck down hundreds of foes. Be gone, or you'll be next. You're welcome. You better give us something. You better give us something when we get back to town. Well, we got a Kin's Idol here, I guess. That's a reward. I'm sure he can get back on his own. I don't think he needs our help with that. You were not there two seconds ago. Okay, wow. Well, we accomplished our main goal for the stream in the first 15 minutes of it. So that's pretty great. Uh, let's go and save the next grub. It's apparently the only grub left in the deep nest. So now that I can see where the grubs are on the map, I'm actually confident we can save all of the grubs. Because I bet a lot of them are just like, Artie, you could have gotten this like literally 10 episodes ago. Uh, we'll, we'll take a stop at the bench along the way. The bench wench. I just realized that Sprint Master really doesn't help out if you're constantly dashing. Alright. Make sure fluffy boys get fed. Okay, so I gotta go up. Oh, that's right, it's Centipede Room. Well, hey, that's not nice. Whee! Hey, Galadivor, welcome! We already completed our, our rescue operation, so now we're now we're trying to save the grubs. Why can't I... Apparently it's made of butter. Lovely. Okay, so I gotta find a way to get up higher before I can get up higher. Oh, I can go up here. Wow, you guys just pop up out of everywhere. This is not Pikmin 2. I thought I left cheap enemy spawns behind a long time ago. By a long time ago, I mean like a month ago. Pikmin 2 was not that long ago. And spe speaking of Pikmin 2, if you thought what I did was hard, I've been watching this guy play through Kaizo Pikmin 2, which I thought was just regular Pikmin 2, but no, there's actually a hard there's actually a harder version of it out there. And dear lord, like compared to what he's doing, what I was doing is nothing. Get out of my way. Hey, I thought I defeated you. There, take that. Oh, okay. They keep burrowing back in the ground. Rather frustrating. Also, apparently Kaizo does not mean, like, super hard. Kaizo literally just means changed. But they definitely changed a lot in Pikmin 2, and, uh, oof. Not for the better. It definitely seems like it's one of those mods that's just like, Oh, let's make it harder by just spamming stuff everywhere. It's like, this isn't fun, though, it's like, but it's harder. It's like, yeah, but you failed at making something that's enjoyable. Ah, wonderful. I don't know for sure. I don't know Japanese or whatever language Kaizo comes from. 
Okay. I hate how good of an aim they are. Like, they can just predict where you're going to be. Oh. Well, wonderful. There has to be a way to go to the right. There has to be. Jackpot. I'm pretty sure there are Kaizo Zelda games. That's a fake one. You're no match for the spider friends. That's also a fake. No, no, that's a real one, actually. What? One of these is a real one. You're the real one. Okay. You're a fake one. Yep. Ah, well. There we go, we found a little grubby. And there's still more of the map we haven't gone to? We haven't gone to the fungal wastes from here, maybe? I can't tell if that's like a map we haven't gone to before, or... Yeah, this... Yeah. Wahey! Exactly, they do whatever the spiders do. Well, like, Pikmin 2 was not a game that needed a harder version of it. Pikmin 2 is kind of peak difficulty for me. If I want to try a hack, I'm not going to play one that's bad. I'm going to play one that's good. Interesting. So now we're back in the fungal wastes. No hidden grubs here. But there is a mask hidden here. That's very interesting. I should enter this from the Forgotten Crossroads again, because it looks like that's the only way we can find the hidden Fainamajigi. Alright. Ouch. Oh, no you don't. Why is everybody so eager to have a piece of the arty? I'm 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 content to just keep playing Zelda randomizers. Ah! I'm sorry, I did not realize that this was where the subway was moving. All right, all right, spider friends, let's go. Fitting for the spider friends. I thought I'd already been in this room before. But it says I haven't been here yet. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah, like how hard the Link to the Past has a great game engine. It shouldn't be that difficult to get a good ROM hack of it.
What am I missing here? No, you can't smash that. This room is huge! I can see that, but... Maybe... Hmm... Maybe I need to come in here from the fungal wastes, because it says here that I can take this way to go to the fungal wastes. So I think what I'll do is I'll take the top route, go go back to fungal wastes, then see if I can shortcut back through here. That's very rude of you, Mr. Evil Grub. I don't care for you. Um, that was weird. I jumped and it's like, okay, double jump, but only the second one? No, I wanted to do my rig great. <laughs> I feel like it... Mm. Yeah, so... Part of me wonders how difficult it would be to write natural sounding dialogue in a game. Like, I'm definitely interested in trying my hand at making, like, a visual novel or a couple in the future, but, uh... thing is, uh... I'm not sure if I'd be very good at writing dialogue. I feel like I would either be really easy or just, like, almost impossible. Well, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not an really anticipating a ROM hack to be better than the game it's hacking. That almost never happens. In fact, the only time I would say I have encountered a game that was better than the one it was based on was Mega Man Rock Force. All right. That's weird, there's not a... Okay, I guess we gotta go to Mantis Village? So that seems like it's the only place on this part of the map where there's an extra way we can go that we haven't been before. Thank you, spider friends. Now we're in a much nicer area. I mean, we're still in an area that's absolutely filled to the brim with mushrooms, which is not great, but... At least it's not super creepy! Although there are still annoying enemies that can explode. Oh, that's right, we can take the shortcut through to the Mantis Village. How grand! <laughs> Wonderful, Gromit. Oh no, I know what that does. Wait, is that is it seriously just I haven't been this way before? Oh, I didn't have wall jump, I guess. Wow. Wow. The fungal core. How have I not been here before? Wow. I need double jump to get up here, not just wall jump. Okay, that makes a little more sense then. Give me the Geo that I don't need anymore. I must have it, I must get it, you must go and get it for me. Cool. Shortcut. Uh-oh. Vine Sauce Vinny. Yeah, some of these enemies do look a little like Vine Sauce Vinny, actually.
Still also keeping an eye out for the pale ore. Oh, hello. Are you an NPC or an enemy? You're an enemy. No ho ho! But I've already been in this area. Huh. Alright. Do 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 do. I also should go back to Dirtmouth eventually, just see if the legendary marshmallow or whatever his name is. Vaughn or whoever. His name started with a V. Not sure if I'm ready to go down there just yet. This does seem pretty secretive. It is kind of hard to tell the difference between an NPC and an enemy, which I get, it, like, that's part of it, because there are some things that are designed to look like NPCs, but are actually enemies that hurt you, but... Oh, that's right, those enemies can blow up other enemies for you. Wow. I know! <laughs> wow! Honestly, at this point, I have the spider friends of all, not even necessarily because they're really helpful, but just because they're my buds. <laughs> they're my bros now. <laughs> I think I already went up there, so you. Wow. Okay, I'll deal with you, but I gotta explore wow. what's up here first. They're like, no, wow! <laughs> Yeah, I definitely think I probably should have come here earlier. Just seems to be a lot of geo. Ow! Okay, you've got to be an NPC, right? Or is this just a background object? Okay, this seems... like too strange of a thing to just be a random dead end. My Geo's over 9,000! <laughs> it's very true. But I can't think of anything to do there. Wow. Again, I wish my map updated in real time. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I probably should have used the Dream Nail. It wasn't sparkling or glowing, though. Wait. Where am I in the deep now? Oh, hey! I'm in the area exactly where I thought I was going to be. Welcome to the Deep Nest. I know you've never been here before. This looks like a boss arena. With all those javelins and all those corpses. There's a locked door. It won't open. But I'm Artie. I deserve- I, I, I got the party invite. You can't have a party without Artie. Fine. Super Grover! Ready, set, Grover. All roads lead back to the deep nest, apparently. That's a really tight jump. And I'm not sure if I can make it. Maybe I can go around. <laughs> yeah, that's better.
Okay. Oh. That's all it led to? That's disappointing a little bit. Oh, I see that back there. I'm not going to pass up free Geo if I have it. Wow. Think, think of all the stuff you could buy with that many arty bucks. Possibilities are endless. Okay. Uh, there's, so there's nothing down that's worth getting. Oh, but now you're going to make me fast fall. So this is the, yes, so this is the big empty room that I was rudely kicked out of on the other side. There we go. So that creates the shortcut. Uh, no, DX poster fan art in the uh, the arty party Discord. <laughs> That's my best, Mr. Krabs laugh. Oh my butt! I remember, I think, no, it wasn't, uh, no, it wasn't DeviantArt. I was, I was about to say, like, I think I used to follow artists on DeviantArt. No, I used to follow artists on, um, Tumblr. Which I, uh, I don't recommend. Tumblr is, uh, not a very nice place. Like, I thought... I kind of thought Reddit was the cesspool of the internet. No, no, Tumblr is worse. From the stories I've heard. Oof. I also have heard... Now, you will have to fact-check me on this, but I have heard that after Tumblr made its, like, massive ban on, like, not safe for work material that a lot of the people who frequented Tumblr kind of migrated to Reddit. And if so, that actually makes a lot of sense. Ow. I, this is why I probably should not be reading chat while in the deep nest unless I pause the game. Yeah. Well, I guess... The thing about Reddit is, like, because on Reddit, you, like, it's literally just a bunch of forums, and you get to choose which forums you're part of, like, not all of Reddit is horrible. Like, there are parts of Reddit that I use for not social media or, like, posting my political opinions reasons, and it actually can be very great. Like, if you've got programming questions, Reddit's actually, it can be a great resource, because you can just hop on and be like, Hey, I forget, if you're using C++, is it passed by reference or passed by value? And people will be like, oh, it's it's passed by so-and-so. I don't actually know. But it is, it, it can be a useful resource, if, if you know what to use it for. But also, if you're going on there to discuss serious topics like politics, don't. <laughs> then again, I, I would recommend not discussing politics on most social media. Just because, well, it's hard enough discussing politics in person. And when you're, when you're on social media, people tend to say things to you that they would never have the guts to say to your face. Because they're free of the consequences of getting slapped. 
Yes, that, see, that is that is a great use of social media. Looking up cute photos of animals. I agree wholeheartedly. See, like, you just, you, you gotta know what to use it for. Alright, I wanna see if I can find that grub. And then go to the nearest train station. I also really should find a bench soon, because the last time I sat down was in the deep nest. Uh, yeah, down this pathway. That is a smart decision, Simpsons RS. Like, I technically still have a Twitter account, but I do not use it anymore. I stopped using Facebook in, I believe, 2020. Never looked back. And I stopped using Twitter in, like, 2021. I'm kind of just going, yeah, social media dry. I guess it depends on, like, some people count Discord as social media. I really don't. I see it as something kind of different. Like, I also don't count YouTube as social media because it's just, like, I, it's a platform I can post videos. I don't go on YouTube to interact with other people. I go on YouTube to post videos that I think are fun. There's not really a social aspect of YouTube for me. <laughs> and likewise, like I don't stream on Twitch specifically, so I talk can talk to people. Talking to people on Twitch is a is a nice bonus, but I I play on Twitch because I like playing games. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. This is getting ridiculous. I hate these boomerang guys. I was not even aware that I had 800 subscribers on YouTube. Or if, like, I knew I was, like, semi-close, but, eh, I mean, it's kind of cool. I don't really think much about it. It's not going to change the way I make videos. Hi. Oh, you're a boss. Were you a boss? If so, you were kind of a pathetic excuse for one. There you go. Not too bad. That's true. I have definitely, my channel has definitely grown. It's definitely growing at an exponential level. Like, the first couple of years... Like, it took me years to break 100. Granted, my content back then kind of sucked. I think I mentioned before, I kind of consider my first true Let's Play that's like actually semi-worth watching to be Harvest Moon 64, which is Let's Play number 39 out of almost 80 at this point. Not entirely, but, like, that's kind of the first Let's Play I did that where I, like, look back and I'm like, I'm pretty proud of that one. Oh, there's a lot... There's a lot of grubs here. 
There are free grubs here, and I haven't explored most of this place, I guess. Okay, I don't like these guys. Um, I definitely think the Humongous Entertainment Let's Plays have a lot to do with my channel growth. Because those, those games are kind of the perfect niche games where, like, they were popular enough that most people played at least one of them because there were so many types. But they're also, like, niche enough that not very many people play them. So when you look up Let's Plays of the Humongous Entertainment games, mine tend to be some of the only ones that show up. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like how in the early days, people really only knew me for my Lemmings content. Because I was one of the few people who actually played, like, Lemmings games on YouTube. And, you know, like, I, I really enjoy playing the Humongous Entertainment games, don't get me wrong, but, like, I'm not going to play a lot of Humongous Entertainment games just to appeal to the, like, 800 subscribers I have. I still, like, plan on only playing games that I personally enjoy, or I personally think I will enjoy making a Let's Play of. And if you don't like it, you can just deal with it. Okay, there's gotta be a grub right up here. Oh, okay. That's not nice. Nice. <laughs> yep, I can't think of any person here who's also done a Let's Play of Lemmings. Not a one. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, um, Nintendo Addict has also done Lemmings-related Let's Plays. Quite a few. Proxima might have done some as well. I can't quite remember. Yeah. Part of me wonders if I could ever go back, because I grew up with DOS Lemmings. Part of me wonders if, like, after playing Super Lemini and Neo Lemmings, if I could ever go back to DOS Lemmings, or if it would just be too unbearable. To be like, arg, I can't, like, assign skills while paused, ah, I don't have directional select, ah, I don't have a fast forward button. Hone. All of that for a Hone I seal? I guess I also got a Grub too, but... You've done a pause-free challenge with commentary, not really a Let's Play, though. I mean, if you played the game with commentary, that counts as a Let's Play. Yeah, I think, yes, that's definitely part of it. There have been quite a few people who've played the Humongous Entertainment games, but are, yeah, more adult commentators. And again, I I'm I do not consider myself to be like, oh, I, I make kids commentary. No, I make commentary that's suitable for all ages. I think generally my commentary appeals more towards adults than kids, because I make a lot of references that probably kids aren't going to make. But kids can definitely watch the content without being like, Mommy, what does the word boop mean? Hey, I, I feel I feel you, Nintendo Addict. I definitely do not enjoy Let's Playing quite as much as I used to. Well, like, when I first started Let's Playing, I was uploading, like, multiple videos a day. So, like, I went through, like, 25 Let's Plays in a year. Whereas now I'm going through, like, more like eight. <laughs> I still enjoy it, but I definitely have reduced the rate at which I do it. And now I generally err on the side of I kind of prefer streaming. Hi, dude! 
Oh, the queen! The queen is coming! I've been waiting so long, and now she's almost here! I feel like I'm about to burst! I've kept it safe, this sacred garden! I've kept it safe for all this time! And soon the queen will return and teach me to fly! Shall we wait together, stranger? Shall we play together? Challenge the warrior. Ooh, it's a challenge ball. Okay, hang on. Is there a bench nearby? I think I want to... Yeah, so there's a bench down low. I definitely want to sit on that before I challenge him. So I can get my uh, pins equipped. And also, that way if I die, it is not a complete disaster. Oh. Oh, hey! Toll machine with a stag. Yes! A new, new subway station. Can't believe I haven't been here before. Okay. So if we're going to challenge the guy, definitely Soul Catcher. Definitely Quick Focus. One more. Let's try Balder Shield. That's a, that's a good trio. I'll come back for the subway station later. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean... Yeah. That's, that's I guess, part of it. If you're playing, like, story-driven games, like... If I was playing the Ace Attorney games by myself, I probably wouldn't have a lot to say on them. But because I'm playing them with Marty, we can have a lot of funny banter back and forth. Which makes them a lot more enjoyable. Alright, dude. Oh, that is not what I expected the voice to sound like. Oh, interesting. So I can, like, knock him back like a beach ball. Okay. Okay, healing in this fight is actually going to be very difficult. Yeah, so I definitely made the right call to sit in the bench. Hmm. <clears throat> so healing almost... It feels like healing is just not really going to be an option in this fight. So I'm going to unequip those. I'm going to equip the Shaman Stone and maybe do some more of the, like soul attacks. And... what else? Maybe I think Long Nail actually will be helpful on this fight. Is that a frog? I do not know. It's a guardian spirit. I definitely think she's a bug of some kind, as pretty much every character in this game is a bug of some kind. Oh, why did I thought I definitely... Okay, the, the souls, uh, the tortured souls of the afterworld did not uh, help me there. Yeah, so she just keeps charging me down, so healing's just not really an option in this fight. So if I if I can time my soul... Uh, hang on. I was about to be like, where is my, my shadow? I hate how fast she rockets at you when she's going from stand from a standstill. All right. Well, hmm. Yeah. Hey, you don't know about my ping-pong skills. How dare you? Don't judge me. I wonder if the spider friends would help out. Actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go glowing womb. Instead of shaman stone. 
And I'm gonna do Sprint Master so I can get some distance. Now I get my little buggy buddies. Okay, buggy buddies don't seem to be doing much. Now the buggy buddies. Okay, now it's like pinball. Darn it! It feels like she keep. It feels like the amount of time she waits before she launches at you is random, and if you wait until she launches at you, there's no way you're reacting in time. Well, that's weird. Like, depending on what side of the arena you die on, your shadow will come to a different side. Excuse me, I that you should have been dead long ago. This is probably one of those fights that, like, half the people are like, this is really easy, and half the people are like, this is really hard. I just need to get the rhythm going. Oh, never mind, that was actually not that hard. Oh, stranger! Oh, wait. Oh, stranger, you're strong! Much stronger than me! I've been waiting a long time, stranger. I've been fighting a long time, stranger. I'm very, very tired. The queen will be here soon, and I just need to sleep a little. Wake me when the queen arrives, stranger. Perhaps the queen will teach us both to fly, stranger. That would be fun. Wouldn't hit. How much? Ooh, I can get the next prize. Protector of Root and Leaf, we honor you. I can get the next prize from the lady at the resting grounds. Alright. Compass. Soul Catcher. Uh, quick. Oh, if I equip Quick Focus, I can't equip the Spider Friends. Unacceptable. Spider friends and do do do. Mall mail. Why not? She did die waiting for the queen. I think the queen died first, though. Oh, Okay, let's go back to Dirtmouth. See if Marshmallow will give us a, a prize. Yeah, isn't Monarchy great? <laughs> I mean, not that what, what's happening on our end is all that useful right now. Alright, where's that hero guy? Or, is he, or did we just leave him in the deepness and he didn't return? The noisy old lift, where did it go? Up to the mines, have you been there? I kind of have. I keep thinking he's going to get more stuff. <sighs> oh, nothing more worth selling. Okay. 
Will there be a funeral for the queen? Eh, probably not. Okay, where to go? Uh, I think... We don't have one directly inside of... Let's go to Queen Station. I want to go to the fungal... Oh, wait, no. Oh, Crossroads. We want to go to the Crossroads. So that way we can fall down the shaft back into the fungal mines. Or the fungal wastes. Sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Bacchanada. That Bacchanada is probably my favorite sound effect in the game. It's a good one. There's also apparently a grub really close by up in here. How long have we been able to get in there? Wow, I think I could have gotten that, like, really early on. Okay. City of Tears. Fungal Waste. So we got it. Since the very first episode. Fun. Well, found it now. I, th I think you can use pretty much whatever you want as sound alerts on your Twitch channel. It's not like I own the sound effect. Ow. Yeah, the the issue is which ones make the cut. Because not all of them can. You don't want to overwhelm people. Or maybe I'm wrong about that and go nuts. You do what you want. It's your Twitch channel. Oh! I wasn't even close to that guy when he self-destructed. Now we're just gonna fall down, down, down. So down to the fungal wastes. Okay, so we go down and then to the right! <laughs> Thank you, spider friend. Once again, I was not even close to him when he self destructed and I still blew up, apparently. Well, ain't that just peachy dandy. Alright, here we go. So now that we're here, if we go down, there should be a way we can go off to the left, which should take us to a new... A whole new world! A new, fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go, or say that we're only dreaming. Yeah, it does. I, I did not hear any kind of a grub noise in that area, by the way. Alright, well, let's see here. It's true, you don't want to hang out there once the area gets corrupted. Still don't know why that area got... Oh! This guy looks very trustworthy. Also, wow, there was a bench way up here and I didn't even know about it. This guy looks like the bug equivalent of Gollum. <laughs> Don't try to sneak past me. I can smell you. Hmm, do you collect a lot of Geo? Give me Geo and you can see something nice. I have Geo. Wow, that's a bargain. What am I about to see? Is this like a new TV show, or is it going to be something weird? Let me show you then. Take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more Geo. More Geo. What? 
How long have I been able to get these? Precious Fane, a beautiful charm, made it for you. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm? I need that? <laughs> very, very special, valuable charm. Uh, fragile Greed. Um, don't, that's a very vague sounding charm, but I mean, I might as well buy them. You're weak, aren't you, G? Thanks. I will make you stronger. Your enemies will fear you at this. Yes, please. Wow, I can't believe I didn't find this guy or until now. Got nothing left to show you? You want something more? You're so greedy! How dare you. So, what do these fiends do? Uh, increases the health of the bearer, allowing them to take more damage. The charm is fragile, and it will break if the bearer is killed. Oh! So if you die, you have to buy them from him again. Is that how it works? Or maybe or maybe that's what the weird shadow guy in Dirtmouth is for, with like the regrets. Cause the bear to find more Geo when defeating enemies. It will break. Strength the bear, increasing the damage. That, that's good, but that's high risk, high reward. Okay. That's interesting, though. So that's actually pretty cool. I'll make more, and they'll give me more Geo. If someone comes by, they have to give me their Geo. If you have enough Geo, you become a king. When I get enough Geo, I'll become a king. This guy literally is Gollum. He's ripping people off. He's he, he's obsessed with his precious. These would not have helped in the Lost Kin fight, because I would have used them once, and then they would have been broken. Well, that's right, I couldn't go this way without the boiling water fan. Well, that's funny. I can't believe I didn't find that guy till now. I mean, who can say if I actually would have used those charms? Those seem to me like charms where I'm like, I can't break, I can't use them. I've, um, <laughs> good physics. I'd definitely be the guy who's like, I can't use this charm because then it'll break and then I won't have it anymore. I definitely don't think they're one-time use only charms, but I still hate the idea of having to rebuy them every time I do that. Okay, here we are. I still have no flipping map for this stupid fog canyon, and I'm about to die because everything's blowing up around me. I feel like there's a country song in there again. I don't think it would work as any of those. I think it works best as a game. Okay. We are not destroyed. I didn't do anything! I did not do anything! That guy killed himself on his own. Oh, wait, no, it was the spider friends. Spider friends! Don't attack them! Spider friends are not a good idea. No, I will never give up on the spider friends. Spider friends, spider friends. Don't attack the jellyfish. Oh my gosh, is this going to be the other side? It is. So, I'll. Uh, when can I break open that spell? <laughs> You're just jealous that I'm better friends with the spider friends than you are. <laughs> Map guy should be there. You saw his papers? Ow. Ow. I hate... <laughs> Why does everything blow up so easily? Spider friends! I love you guys. But... You can't screw me over like this. 
curse you, spider friends! <laughs> it's okay. I'm very close by. Because I sat with Gollum. The idea of the fragile charms is, is, is kind of amazing. I never would have thought that they, they ex would exist. Excuse me. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Ouch! Oh ho! Spider friends? Uh, oh, oh. Spider friends, I'm trying to pick this up. All that for a hollow nest seal, great. All right, spider friends. Yeah, you have a point. You do have a point. If I die here... Wait. Yeah, you do have a point. If I die here, I lose all of my Geo. So if I, hang on, if I quit to the menu, will this respawn me at the bench? Because if so, I would like to do that. And my, and my shadow will not be destroyed. Is that how that works? Yes, okay, cool, cool. Yes, I will, I will happily, I will happily do that. Because I really, I, I don't want to lose all that Geo. That would be very bad. I love the spider friends, but if they're going to be triggering explosives all the time, I can't I can't be doing that. Okay. I'll be back for you later, spider friends. I prom <laughs> I'll be there. I promise. <laughs> And do we'll do I like Sprint Master. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> Artie, that's not the right way. Some charms just seem kind of useless. Or, like, they're very, very only much, very much only okay, and yet they cost, like, two notches. <laughs> this is the way. Now, I'm not sure if this is the way. Okay, um... See, that doesn't really seem fair. What is the purpose of this room? Just to be a death trap? Okay, no, I did not- I- this was not the way that I went. And... That can't have been the right way for that I went. I do not remember going through that last time. The 
This is also not the right way. And of course I conveniently do not have the map. Again, I have absolutely no idea what's next in the story, because I've never played this before, and I don't want people in chat answering that, because that will be spoilers. Did I go up the wall? I do not... No, this, this is not the way I went. This is far more dangerous than the way I went, isn't it? There's no way I got through this many explosives. Ow. Oh, I... Oh, I hate this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, I did not go this way. Did I fall down farther in that room than I thought? Finally taking advantage of the save and quit system. I, I did. I did. I ain't no fool. Well, actually, I, I am. I've done some very, very stupid things in this playthrough. Okay. I, I'm also a fool because even though I literally just went, I cannot remember where I went last time. It was literally ten minutes ago, but I don't know if I've explored all of the Fog Canyon because I don't have a freaking map for it, even though I've been here since episode two. Okay, I must I must have gone through here. Yeah, yeah, this this is, looks more like it. Here we go. So I guess I fell farther down in that room than I thought. There he is. Oh my gosh. I know that humming. There he freaking finally! Oh ho! As, much, uh, as odd as much of hollowness can be, there's a whole new level of strangeness about these caves. Yeah, no bed sheet. I've been here since episode two. Did you see that dark gate below? It's quite unsettling to be near. I did! I've been here since episode two! I did my best to avoid it. Fortunately for me, I found another route in, though I did end up a little bit singed after waiting through some acid. Just hear humming like he has a care. Like, oh, have you ever explored this cave? It's a pretty new place to be. It's like, no, it's not. Oh wow, I've been basically everywhere that he marked on the map. Cool. <laughs> Ouch. Who will I feel sheepish? Alright, so now we're going to go back to this main room, we're going to fall down to the bottom, and then we can find us ourselves to grub. Was that a, you knocked some random stuff off the wall crunch noise, or was that a, hey, there's a secret passageway in the wall noise? Okay, nope, that was just a generic, oh, there was stuff on the wall noise. Finally got a map of Cloud Canyon, yeah? It's a long time coming. Hey. 
Hello, sir. Would you like to duel? Doesn't this kingdom just abound with surprises? A building atop an acid lake. Despite the sight, I can't help but feel familiarity. Something stirs in my mind. Oh, I can't yet tell what. I'd thought for it my lust for discovery that led me here, but now there seems to be something else. This building beckons me. I get feel beckoned by a bridge. And a grub. Oh, the grub is probably actually... No, it's not in the building, actually. Grover! Aha! Man, how the heck would you find that if you didn't have the... <laughs> how the heck would you find that if you didn't have the uh, pin? The teacher's archives! Why is this, like, the creepiest area in the game? <laughs> I hate chemistry class! <laughs> ah, bench. I hope the teacher doesn't mind that I'm destroying all the equipment. <laughs> Super Grover's the real hero here. Super Grover is the hero and the spider friends are the sidekicks. Okay, I didn't know there would be another one over there. I'm assuming you can go down both ways. Hey, how about giving me a map for this giant freaking house? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of views. Oh, wow. I can't hurt it. I can't hurt this fane at all. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, that was unexpected. Alright, let's switch up our pins. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to bring back the spider pace, the spider friends. If I can't damage it, maybe the spider friends can. Thank you, sir. All right. I need to figure out a way that I can damage this thing. So it could be a case of, like, if you hit it enough, eventually it'll crack and then you can damage it. Or maybe you can only damage it with soul attacks. No, it looks like even the soul attacks aren't doing much. Aho! Here we go. Oh, dude, yes! Oh, this is awesome. We get help. And not just for- Oh, wait, hey, dude, you're supposed to be on my side. Dude, what the heck? Come on, let's beat him up. Yikes, this guy hits everywhere on screen. Darn it. 
There we go. Okay, the pogo does not work well on him. Okay, I love you spider friends, but you did nothing in that fight. Um, could go to the shield. Or the long nail. Long nail's a decent idea. I think I'm gonna go to the shield. So we can heal and block his electric attacks. Yes, this is another boss attack. This is another boss fight. You can tell because we we got his name in the title. Well, now we know what to expect for this fight. We get help. These will become generic. Don't even joke about that. Wait a second, I have an idea. Oh, come off it! Oh. I forgot I had the dash attack, and I'm like, I bet this will work. I, th I don't know how to dodge his electric attack. It just seems like they're everywhere on the whole screen. Okay, the pogo does work. You just need to keep in mind you're going to knock him away from you. Um. Okay, dodging that stupid electricity is nearly impossible. <laughs> I could use some help here, Fox. <laughs> Okay, just keep moving forward. Liter if you literally just keep moving forward, he can't hit you with the electricity. Unless he does that. You do not get very much soul in this in this fight, though. Curse you. No! Why did you have to take fall damage? <laughs> guess guess what I will not be playing. Kaizo Hollow Knight. <laughs> New phone, what dis? <laughs> dis, buddy boy, is will. Like, if you get lucky and it's like, oh, he summoned the electricity and none of it will hit you, then great. But that doesn't always happen. And, again, like, when he spawns the electricity, it just hits you pretty much instantly. I wish you got soul back even, like, when you hit him, even if you don't damage him. go. Yeah, like, sometimes, like, if he just summons the lightning and it's all around you, there's no escaping it. Oh. 
The wall jump saved me. Okay, now I'm kind of getting the boss pattern now. I still have no idea how to reliably dodge that move. I just kind of have to hope I get lucky. Can't believe I dodged it there. This move is a lot easier now. Again, just kind of keep moving forward. I am very lucky that he did not put an electric blast there. Hey, look at that, I even found time to heal. Sliding down the wall during that attack definitely seems to be effective. Oh wow, he's gone! Cool! Sweet. Thanks for your help, bro. Couldn't have done it without you. I hate chemistry. I hate chemistry. Ooh. Night... Oh, I thought that said Nightlight. Keen Light, M Growth, In Kind, Flow, All Think, and Field, Auto Light, M Essence. This is weird. The uh, gee, Think, Flow, A, B, A, D This... Okay. That's, that's a lot of just nonsense. <laughs> Is that pig Latin without the pig? Could be. Oh no. Is Luke Skywalker in there? Something glows within the tank. Yeah, no, duh. Did she call you too, then? I realize it's no coincidence we arrived together. Though much of my memory is blank, this place I recall. Within these chambers, the teacher sought to store the kingdom's knowledge, and at its core, she stored herself. To save Hollowness, the teacher willingly became a seal, but upon herself she enacted an additional protection. Though I cannot recall its happening, I played a part in that feat. She called me here, now, to reverse that protection, all in aid of you. Are we breaking the last seal? Do not hesitate. The choice to reform was hers, not mine. She knows what you would do, and she seems to welcome it. Hey, girl. A figure sleeps within the tank. Oh shoot, I didn't go back to the resting grounds to get my new power, and I was going to. Um, can I talk to you? Oh, that's right, for diversity. A seal. Okay. I have no other way of actually talking to you. Teacher. That's the third of the main egg seals, so now I think the demon egg is going to hatch. I don't know, this game is already way longer than I expected it to be. The madam's life is extinguished, and with it her seal breaks. It's a heavy thing you attempt, but I've seen your prowess up close, and she too believed you capable. Be on your journey, then, and allow me rest a time. With the deed complete, I begin to feel my age. You're still young. You're just 70. Whee! 
Okay. Going up here, there's more stuff. I hate chemistry! A tank full of charged Luma flies. I take it that's the only way to get the Luma fly entry, because my ex wife just glared at me. Of absence, there, abundance shell, outer, oh, inner place in absence, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it's, it's all very fascinating, I'm sure. I, I literally don't remember the names of any of these characters. <laughs> Except, um... <laughs> almost said Cornflower. Cornifer. Cornflower is the female romantic lead in Redwall. Great book slash TV show, by the way. Excuse me. Oh, another one. There, Alk, Yoga, blah, 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 into X, blah, blah, blah. Contains 0% milk. Oh my gosh, somebody else in chat actually knows about Redwall. I can't believe it. Alright, I'm going to preemptively re-equip the spider friends in preparation for next time. But in the meantime, we are out of time for this stream. We, uh... <laughs> I used time a little too many times in that last sentence. I need to stop saying the word time. Thank you all very much for watching. Wow, we made a lot of great progress that stream. My goodness, we, we really made a lot of great progress. We saved the guy, we saved Marshmallow, we found Gollum, we finally got the map of the Foggy Land, and we broke the Spurred Seal. But yeah, that... I thought I thought this whole stream was literally just going to be a rescue attempt on uh, Marshmallow. Turns out we saved him, like, instantly, so... <laughs> that was great! Yeah, this... I, I can't tell if the game is, like, about to wrap up if I go back to, like, the egg, if, like, that'll lead to the final area or not. No spoilers on that. But I think what I'm going to be doing now is just kind of going through, trying to find the stuff, trying to save all the grubs. And just trying to explore everything I haven't explored. Because, you know, I'm, I'm into it. I don't really want this to end. <laughs> so, yeah. That's going to be fun. I'll be continuing this on Wednesday at the usual uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Saturday, we'll be doing an Ocarina of Time randomizer seed with custom music, so bring your arty bucks for that. It's going to be a great time. Have a great rest of your night, everybody, and God bless.